hi welcome to my youtube channel rk soft academy so in this tutorial video channel i provide various videos on oracle different technologies and also unix technologies like as you see in my screen oracle sql or structured query language oracle pl sql programming oracle forms and reports development oracle database architecture and design oracle database administration and also unix cell programming and scripting and oracle performance tuning okay so i have already uploaded many videos who are watching my channel who are visitor of my channel they already know that i have started uh, from sql or structured query language uh, then pl sql various videos for sql you can see in my screen then uh, pl sql various advanced topics on pl sql i have described uh, each topic in uh, one video in detail with hands on practicals uh, and then uh, a series of questions and answers interview questions and answers you can see in my screen there are various in interview questions and answers and uh, in each uh, questions i have uh, described uh, uh, with uh, the detail uh, within detail and with hands on and then uh, i have uh, described uh, many videos i have described oracle forms and reports development and as you see in my screen and then i uploaded various videos for oracle dba and oracle performance tuning so you just watch all the videos one by one you can see and watch all the videos and whenever you are watching just uh, watch uh, from the beginning to the end so that you can understand the uh, topic well and you can understand it detail with hands on practical okay and uh, this is the short introduction about uh, my channel who are watching new this channel who are the new visitor of my channel and uh, about me my name is robin and i have total 17 years experience uh, uh, 17 plus years of experiences working with different oracle and unix technologies in different mnc companies uh, so i have worked on many positions like uh, oracle uh, technical lead uh, team lead uh, technical project manager then project manager uh, senior system analyst so various roles i have played in my 17 years of careers and right now I am, I am a senior oracle consultant as well as uh, technical and corporate trainer and interviewer so i have i have been providing training on different mnc companies uh, to their recruit uh, employees as well as uh, uh, different institution uh, the many various candidates are taking uh, training from me so if you are wish to join my any of uh, training of uh, like sql oracle sql oracle pl sql programming oracle database architecture and design oracle forms and reports development oracle database administration or performance tuning so if you want to join any of my training sessions i provide these training sessions online and i am providing this training last 10 years and uh, so if you are want to join my uh, online training session you just uh, contact over me uh, there is a contact details in each video in the description section just follow the description section of each video there is my contact number and whatsapp number just contact me uh, you can call me in my number or whatsapp me but do not make any whatsapp call you can just uh, do a fo phone call or uh, just uh, whatsapp uh, message me in my number whatsapp number or you can email me in my email id if you need more information about the uh, uh, session or course details so uh, you can join directly uh, in my uh, uh, there is a short process and uh, after uh, completing the process you can just jo join directly on my online training sessions on various modules of oracle and unix so if you uh, feel that you want a training uh, regular training and uh, you need uh, improvement of your uh, technologies in oracle platform and if you are seeking for job and uh, uh, just not able to crack any interviews and uh, you can just uh, he get help of my training so i am providing this training last 10 years and i am providing also interviews for various mnc companies for recruiting their people so i can guide you in proper uh, way so that you can uh, crack the interview so uh, i can try for that uh, so you can just uh, join me in my in my training sessions so that is the separate part but uh, i am providing these trainings in my online video tutorial channel that is for free so you can just learn many things from my uh, this uh, tutorial channel 
so uh, if you uh, after that also if you need any training you can just contact o over me as i already stated right so that's all uh, about my channel and about me and uh, today i am going to discuss about one new topic which is basically uh, uh, that is uh, also maybe a interview question and this question is uh, like uh, what is the difference between oracle and sql server so uh, i'll just going to discuss about this topic uh, what is the difference between oracle and sql server okay fine so uh, oracle is a, a relational database management system i uh, already described in many video session if you watch my video session you can just uh, already know that oracle is a relational database management system and there are many database relational database management system uh, the some uh, the relational database management system are like uh, ms access or microsoft access ibase mysql oracle and ms sql server so this is the ms sql server sql server that means ms sql server so what is the difference between oracle and ms sql server so i will discuss about point wise uh, what are their differences uh, so uh, Oracle uh, uh, is a relational database management system and MS SQL Server also is a relational database management system. Uh, so MS SQL Server is basically the relational database management where uh, the uh, transact SQL is used. Uh, here SQL means transact SQL or T SQL which is short form is T SQL. So in MS SQL Server T SQL is used which is transact SQL and which is developed by Cybase uh, and uh, this uh, database uh, uh, is a, this database is also a relational database management system and this is this uh, T SQL is developed by Cybase and also uh, mm, it is uh, uh, also in uh, in oracle uh, in oracle uh, the sql or structured query language is used uh, so uh, in oracle so structured query language or sql is used uh, so in, uh, that is developed by oracle so first point is ms sql server use t sql or transact sql uh, which is developed by Cybase and um, and uh, the Oracle uh, use SQL which is developed by Oracle and um, uh, Cybase is basically developed used for by Microsoft and um, uh, this Oracle used uh, SQL or procedural language SQL which is developed by Oracle right so uh, both databases are uh, use uh, s different flavor of sql basically and their syntax and uh, capabilities are different so both sql have different syntax and capabilities okay so number two difference is uh, this is the first difference uh, i i'm repeating the first difference first difference is same as sql server use transact sql or tsql which is developed by Cybase and uh, that is used by Microsoft and Oracle use the procedural language SQL or structured query language which is developed by Oracle itself okay and uh, this both versions of SQL have different syntax and capabilities right number second difference is um, how they handle variables uh, procedures and built-in functions so there are the different uh, method of handling variables functions and procedures oracle plsql uh, can group functions and procedures inside a package and uh, that can be uh, the, that can be used later uh, but in ms sql server there is no facility to do that uh, I, uh, that means procedures or functions cannot be grouped inside the package and uh, plsql or procedural language sql which used in pa oracle uh, that is a complex and uh, potentially more powerful 
so pl sql is complex and potentially more powerful than tsql or transact sql uh, but transact sql or tsql is much simpler and easier to use okay so if i can just uh, you can uh, just note it down whichever i am just saying because uh, shortage of time i am not able to write uh, all the differences so i repeat uh, multiple times that's why so you can just uh, note it down uh, it can be a question in any interviews what the difference between proceed you know what is the difference between uh, uh, term, uh, oracle and sms sql server right so i have already uh, told two differences uh, so first differences is uh, ms sql server use transact sql or tsql which is originally developed by cybase and it is uh, used by microsoft and oracle use the procedural language sql uh, which is structured query language and which is developed by the oracle itself and both uh, flavor of sql i have different uh, syntax and capabilities okay number one that is number one and number two is uh, this uh, the difference uh, second difference is how they handle the variables and procedures and built-in functions in oracle plsql uh, can uh, in plsql uh, when oracle plsql we can group uh, procedures and functions inside a package and that can be used later okay for our uh, programming development but in ms sql server that is not possible and uh, plsql is complex and uh, potentially more uh, powerful than tsql or transact sql but transact, uh, transact sql or tsql is much more simpler and easier to use right so these are two differences and uh, number three differences is about their transaction management so what is a transaction basically a transaction is a group of statements or operations uh, which um, basically um, uh, a group of statement of op operations uh, which is treated as a logical unit of work and uh, oracle in oracle a collection of sql set statement for modifying records must be updated at the same time okay uh, so i repeat uh, it um, uh, what is a transaction a transaction is a group of uh, operations or um, uh, related uh, uh, related sql statements uh, grouped together in a as a logical unit so in oracle a collection of sql queries may be inside a transaction and uh, maybe they are modifying some records and they are to be updated at the same time okay and if any failure occurs in between uh, then uh, it can be uh, rolled back right so in oracle transactions if any failure occurs in between uh, that can be rolled back because uh, after completing the transaction whole transaction uh, user explicitly commit the uh, commit the transaction using commit statement right so uh, whenever all the statements are uh, executed successfully then commit will be executed and in between any update uh, statement if fails any update statement then uh, the commit will be not executed and the other automatically rolled back will be executed the roll back uh, the transaction will be rolled back so that is the facility in oracle but in uh, uh, ms sql server there is uh, a single statement is executed at once and after executing a single uh, sql statement uh, and uh, the commit is uh, instantly executed okay so there is no facility of rollback in the ms sql server this is very very important uh, differences between oracle and ms sql server also uh, what is the uh, what uh, the is the process of uh, update in oracle the process is uh, whenever a update statement fires in oracle uh, database basically the changes are made inside the memory okay not uh, in the database first okay i repeat whenever a update statement uh, uh, executed in the oracle uh, the necessary changes are made in the memory not in the database so whenever user explicitly commit it then the necessary changes made inside the database so this is the facility in oracle but there is no uh, except ddl uh, ddl is auto commit in oracle 
so except ddl all the trans all the necessary changes are happened in the memory first and then whenever user explicitly commit it then uh, the database uh, permanently changes okay but in ms sql server there is no facility because once a, a once a sql statement is executed um, the uh, um, individual SQL statement is executed the uh, commit is executed instantly okay so there is a no rollback facility so this is the third differences so this is very very important difference and number four difference is MS SQL server organizes all the objects like database objects like uh, tables views and pro procedures by uh, database name okay so i repeat uh, ms sql server organizes all the database objects like tables views and uh, procedures by database name okay so uh, also uh, yeah, here uh, each database has a unshared disk file and each database has a unshared disk file on the server okay uh, but in oracle all uh, database objects like tables views and procedures are grouped together inside the schemas which is a subset of a database right and all the uh, database objects are uh, shared along the along uh, among the all schemas and users right and uh, also um, users uh, user access the database objects uh, through various roles and permissions okay so i repeat number four last point is ms sql server organizes all database objects like tables views and procedures uh, by the database name and uh, the database has a um, unshared disk file on the server but in the case of oracle all database objects like tables views and procedures are organized by a, a schema objects uh, which is a subset of the database and there may be a several there may be several schema objects or users and uh, the ob database objects here like tables views and in uh, tables views and procedures and whatever the database objects can be shared among multiple schemas or users and user can access database objects through the roles or permissions okay so these are the four very very important differences i uh, just discussed uh, in this video tutorial session i think this video was informative for you and you have learned from this video if you learned from this video and this video was informative for you just give a like and also comment below if you understand all the points and it was useful for you and uh, just give a like and comment below and subscribe my channel and share my video with your friends colleagues and whoever uh, you know so that they can also learn from my video tutorial channel uh, different oracle technologies and also unix technologies uh, you can just share my uh, channel name or video link uh, to your uh, uh, friends colleagues and uh, whoever you know so that they can also uh, learn from my video and uh, make their skills as well okay so thanks uh, for watching my video this video tutorials channel uh, this video t video uh, tutorial uh, so just uh, comment below and uh, uh, just uh, i i want your comment about this video uh, uh, how you this video was and just if uh, this video was informative for you if you if this video have added some value to your learning and if this video was informative just give a like and subscribe this channel hitting the notification bell if you are new to this channel just subscribe the channel hitting the notification bell so that you can get the notification for my next video and you can learn from my video okay and uh, share this uh, video with your friends colleagues and others uh, okay so that's all for this tutorial uh, session and i hope you have enjoyed this session uh, thank you very much for watching this video and bye